American Polywater Corporation's Instagrot sealant barrier makes sealing transformer pads, telecom pedestals, J boxes, DOT control cabinets, and switchgear base openings simple. Polywater Instagrout helps prevent outages and service disruptions by creating a resilient and impermeable barrier that keeps out moisture and stops rodents, snakes, spiders, and insects such as wasps and fire ants from burrowing up through earthen gaps into the pad enclosure, potentially causing costly outages or safety hazards. Instagrout offers excellent adhesion to fiberglass, polymer concrete, and concrete pads it tolerates environmental extremes and effectively seals around complex conduit stub-ups. Instagrout was developed with unique polymer matrix technology. Unlike concrete, it will not settle, crack, or cave in when performing service work or transformer changeouts. The strong lightweight polymer matrix seal withstands freeze-thaw cycles and environmental extremes. It is compatible with cable jacket materials and will not corrode metal. Instagrout also works great to fix small exposed gaps in the transformer pad window caused by transformer changeouts not lining up with the existing pad. Instagrout sealant is designed to flow as a liquid, cure into a strong polymer matrix, and seal around complex stub-ups. It naturally expands to a thickness of 3 to 4 inches. Kit coverage is calculated using a 3-inch fill depth. Its working temperature range is from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are several examples of damage that have occurred in the field. Giant earthen mounds, tunnels, nests made of sticks and debris, and finally bite marks made by rodents chewing on the elbows. Before using Instagrout in the field, be sure to review and follow all company's safety and work method guidelines while working in or around energized equipment. To determine the amount of Instagrout sealant required, use the Polywater Quantity Guideline Worksheet. Instagrout sealant is available in multiple sizes to fill different pad volumes. Carefully measure the area to be sealed by multiplying the width in feet by the length in feet of the pad opening in the structure. Do not subtract any conduits or other stub-up utilities. Use this measurement to estimate the minimum quantity needed. Round up to determine the quantity of Instagrout sealant required. It is good practice to rely on field measurements to calculate quantity, rather than measurements from plans or specs. Actual pad opening dimensions may vary from drawings due to manufacturing variances or earlier pad changeouts. Factors that increase quantity requirements include complex geometry, such as a large number of conduits or channels, coarse fill for base, such as a crushed rock bed, unleveled surface or minor slopes, irregular ground with small holes or pits, the need for a deeper seal, area preparation. After calculating the amount to be used, prepare the target surface area, fill any deep holes or rocky crevices, and cover pea gravel with at least one inch of sand or dirt. Pea gravel that is left uncovered will allow the Instagrout matrix material to filter through, causing a poor seal. Try to make the surface as level as possible. Instagrout sealant barrier will flow to and fill low spots on the target surface, but it works best on flat areas. Sand is the preferred surface filler for Instagrout. Mixing and application. Caution. Wear the protective gloves provided safety glasses, and any other protective equipment your company recommends. Refer to the MSDS before handling. For larger areas to cover, use the PMT3. Start the mixing process by placing the empty pail provided in the PMT3 kit on the ground. Pour the bottle of Instacrout Sealant PMT3 Part A into the pail. Next, shake one bottle of Instacrout Sealant PMT3 Part B to premix and pour into the pail. Mix well for 30 seconds using the stir stick included. The mixed product should be a uniform gray. After mixing, set aside the stir stick for later use in directing the flow of the Instagrout. For the PMT-10, we recommend using a paint mixer that you can get from any paint or home improvement store. Shown here are two different types of paint mixers that thoroughly mix Instagrout. Use a cordless drill to mix the product. Deploy the product similarly to the PMT3. The mixed Instagrout sealant should be applied within five minutes of the completion of mixing. Slowly pour the Instagrout sealant into the target area. 
Rapid pouring can cause unwanted pooling of the material. Initially, the mixed material is thin and has good flow properties. Also, try to pour from a height that is below your knee to keep from driving the product too deep into the sand layer, which can prevent the sealant from flowing and curing as desired. A two inch diameter or larger conduit may be used as a pour spout or a chute to safely direct the Instagrout sealant into hard to reach spots, such as between conduit stub ups, to make sure the product adequately fills all small gaps. Once the entire Instagrout sealant kit is deployed, observe the flow of the liquid throughout the area. Pools of Instagrout sealant may be directed and spread with the stir stick for several minutes. Once Instagrout sealant starts to thicken, allow it to react undisturbed. Instagrout sealant will continue to flow and expand for up to 20 minutes after it is mixed. This process will take time, so let it expand and rise before pouring more Instagrout into the area to be covered. The PMT-1 is great for gaps created by transformer changeouts, smaller areas like pedestals, DOT switch cabinets, or repaired areas. Begin by shaking the bottle of Instagrout sealant PMT-1 Part B to premix. Remove the caps from both the Instagrout sealant PMT-1 Part A and Part B. Remove the seals from both bottles and add the contents of the Part B bottle to the Instagrout sealant PMT-1 Part A bottle. Replace the cap on the Part A bottle and shake for 30 seconds. The mixed product will be a uniform gray. Direct the Instagrout sealant PMT-1 Part A cap into repair area and squeeze the bottle, distributing mixed material over the repair area. Initially, the mixed area is thin and has good flow properties. For best results, Pour the material into several spaced points in the target area. If conduits are present, direct the flow at the stub ups to ensure coverage between them. Empty the bottle within three minutes of shaking. Inspect the seal to make sure Instagrout sealant adheres to all component edges and surfaces so that no gaps are apparent. Mix and install each Instagrout sealant kit individually, waiting for each kit to react before deploying the next kit approximately 20 minutes. Instagrout bonds well to itself so that multiple applications have the same strength as a single deployment of Instagrout sealant barrier. Completed seal. Instagrout is re-enterable. It may be drilled or sawed like wood to create the opening needed when a new service is required. Again, make sure to follow all company work method procedures when operating in and around energized equipment. Using Instagrout in conjunction with Polywater FST foam duct sealant before water or animal problems occur is a proactive way to protect electrical systems from costly outages and potential safety hazards. Please view all of our innovative product technology online at polywater.com. For further assistance, please contact your local American Polywater agent, authorized distributor, or our sales staff. We appreciate your support of our products and technology.